Wispang's workshop, a wonderful place of all things fun. Or so Wispang would have you believe. But what if I told you something darker lurks below? Let me try this for a second. Picture a gnome, but not any gnome. This gnome runs a business with plushies and all things entertainment. Always has a big smile on his face. No, I'm not talking about Wispang. I'm talking about Silas Darkmoon, creator of the Darkmoon Fair. Silas sold us on the idea of a happy amusement park, but it was secretly infested with the old guards. Now picture Wispang, gnome, smile, plushies, the resemblance is almost uncanny. They both have striking purple eyes. In fact, if you remove the beard and eyebrows, put on a hat, no, it couldn't be. I'm here to tell you that Wispang's workshop is not all it seems. Wispang is Silas Darkmoon, and his workshop is just another attempt to spread the old god's corruption onto Azeroth. You think Yogg in a box is just a coincidence? No, no, my friend, it's foreshadowing. Wispang will reveal his dark secrets soon. Maybe in the miniset, maybe in a future expansion, but soon, I tell you. Let's theorize what new versions of each old god could look like in Wispang's workshop. Could it be that the darkness behind Wispang's workshop is caused by none other than Nasoth the Deep One? The way opens. Nasoth is a 9 mana 5 7 legendary minion with miniature eyes. Nasoth will draw a minion of each minion type and reduce the cost to 1 this turn, so you'll usually be able to play at least one of the minions you draw alongside Nasoth. But Nasoth's mini version has the same text, but for 1 mana. The way this means you could probably play all the minions you draw as long as you have the board space. Maybe the one behind Wispang's corruption is Yashaj of the Seven Heads. Yashaj is a 10 mana 10 10 legendary minion with miniaturize. Yashaj will summon the highest cost minion from your deck when you play him, and his mini version will do the same but for one mana. Perhaps Yogg in a box is evidence that the one pulling Wispang's string is in fact Yogg-Saron, God of Death. Yogg-Saron is a 10 mana 7 5 legendary minion with miniaturize. When you play Yogg-Saron, he will cast 5 random 1 cost spells, but each spell will be stronger than the last. This means he will first cast a 1 cost spell, then a 2 cost spell and all the way up to a 5 cost spell. His mini version is the same, but it will actually look like this when you get it. This mini version of Yogg will cast a 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10 cost spell for 1 mana. Or maybe the mastermind behind this insanity is in fact Cthun, the Mad God. Cthun is a 10 mana 6, 6 legendary minion with miniaturize that will deal 10 damage randomly split among all enemies but this damage will be increased by 1 for each of your unspent mana. That's probably not gonna mean anything for this version of Cthune, but it will for the mini version. If you play mini Cthune before spending any mana, he will deal 19 damage split among all enemies. So there you have it, each of the old gods as they could appear in Wispang's workshop. Am I onto something here? Let me know in the comments. And subscribe to the channel for more custom Hearthstone content. I'll see you guys in the next video.